Hey guys, Matt Anderson here. I um, just wanted to go over 10 problems faced by deal makers, and, and these are probably the most common that uh, that get that are asked to us through email comments, people that are reaching out, people that are either starting out to do deals or or that have been doing deals for for a little while now. You know whether they have one under their belt or not, um, or, or a couple, and so. We'll just kind of go through these, um, and and most likely you're going to have a, a couple in common here um, that, that are listed. So so first, just to start out, you know what what we're going to do is is we're going to talk about time. Okay. So a lot of people do what is called different time wasters, time vampires is what we like to call them, um, and and really what this is is doing things that that are, are not gonna help move that needle every day, right? And, and, and help you get to where it is that you need to do. So we need to focus on things that are productive, things that are gonna help you move forward in advance. Now, I think I shared this in a, in a previous segment in the past, but there's a story of, of a fisherman and he's come home after a really long day and his wife says, wow, you've been out quite a while fishing. And, and he says, yeah, 12 hours, you know? And she says, how many fish did you catch? And, you know, he throws out a number and we'll say, three fish. And she's like, wow, three fish in 12 hours. Like, yeah, they, they just weren't biting today. And then he goes and sits down and, and she says, how long was your line in the water for? And, and I can only imagine at this point when I heard this story of, of his face, like how long? Was it in for only six hours, half the time, more or less? How many? How much time did he spend fiddling with the flies or, or adjusting his pole or, or snacking or, or chatting or, or trying to find the right spot? It, it's applicable to us and, and how do we spend our time? What are we doing? Are we organizing our desks? Does it have to look good? Are we checking our emails before the day? Are we getting little honeydews done before? Um, but, but what does that look like, right? Number two is his capital. You know, uh, I mean, to do deals, people say, wow, I don't, I don't have any money. How, how the heck would I start uh, doing deals without money, right? Now, there, there are a lot of ways where you can find this capital within the deal itself. It is statistically 84% of business owners are going to give you some type of seller financing. So, so there's money right there, right, um, that the business can pay for over time. Now, now where the rest of that can come from, it, it could be uh, accounts receivable, it could be cash within the business, it, it could be uh, uh, there's, there's mezzanine financing or, or what is called asset-based financing out there. Uh, finding the right lender is difficult, uh, but if you can find the right lender to kind of put together with what would be a deal team that goes into number four, that, that's, where, that's where you can start cranking, okay? So I'm going to go into number four, which is a deal team. Now, a lot of people when you're starting out, and I was this way too, is I, I wore the hat of, you know, as the finder, sourcing the businesses. I spoke to the business owner myself. Um, I would do the due diligence myself. So I collected all the financials, you know, the last three years of profit and loss, um, balance sheets and, and taxes. And then after I went through that, it's about finding, hey, is this a viable business or not to move forward with? And if it was, then it, I need to collect more things, you know, attrition rates, uh, saying, you know, what, uh, you know, how many employees do you have? What, what's your turnover rate? And then seeing the customer concentration, do, is, is one customer have over 50% of their business or over 12% of their business? You know, you, you don't want to be too dependent if one customer were to fall off, right? And a deal team helps you bring in all these different variables because they're working on what it is that they do best to kind of bring this full circle so very quickly and concisely you can say is this deal viable does it make sense to move forward with or not right because if you're the only person wearing all the hats it can be done it has been done it is being done however it is super time consuming and it, it, it definitely takes a lot out of you so if you plan on doing this in the long run to constantly do deals deal team is is what you need uh, and you need to start putting that together okay whether whether you're the type of individual that wants to put your own team together um, and lead that team or or if you're the individual that uh, wants to be a part of a team and you have value to provide and hey I can source really well 
or I, I can do the finances. I, I have a background in, you know, if, if you're an attorney type or, or an accountant of sorts, right? So number five is mindset, okay? So mindset, going in, I'm just gonna give you my personal example. Um, I came from, I mean, I, I say I worked for a financial company, but, but really it was a, a glorified call center. You know, I, I would qualify financial advisors to a certain extent uh, without crossing that line of having a license or not, right? And then I would pass them off and set up appointments with the advisor they were, they were most uh, congruent with, right, in their area and whatnot. But mindset is 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 how, how, how am I, Matt Anderson, um, able to do a deal, right? And, and the biggest thing was is getting past that first deal. And that's what I would stress for anyone is when you're doing this, just jump in with two feet, get it done. It can be done while, while you're working full time also at nine to five, you know, um, but get your first deal under your belt. And once you do that, you can kind of bust through that deal virginity as, as a mentor of mine likes to say. And, and you just have a, a reset, you know, a distilled, more of a distilled confidence in yourself because yeah, you have mentors, you have people out there that say, you can do this, Matt, you got this. You know, you're better than you think and they're motivating and it's great, but after all is said and done, it's like, I wanna prove that to myself. And, and it's hard to accept that until I have proven that to myself. And so yeah, I can have faith and hope and, and do these things and, and, and say affirmations and things like that, but until I actually did that deal, did my confidence really spike that, that this could be done, right? Um, and so mindset is, is key. And so getting that first deal done is a big deal, no pun intended but it, it definitely helps out and and whether you do do that alone or if you do it with a mentor or someone else that doesn't it doesn't matter it's just being a part of getting the deal done and being a part of that in one way or another is, is huge okay um acquisition criteria so you need to pinpoint what it is that 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 you want to purchase that you want to go after to acquire and then focus and hone in on that um you could be all over the board and you could be super broad and you could have deals come up and you're just not really sure. But as you focus in on that, you're gonna become more acquainted with the industry, with what, what the common margins are. And you're gonna to start to see patterns as you speak to more and more business owners. And you're gonna to start to become experts in that industry. So acquisition criteria is key, okay? And then delegation. Uh, there's a lot of things that I had on my plate and this is deal team, you know, helps out with the delegation too that I was able to give out to other people that weren't, weren't like minimal tasks, but they, they were tasks that, that weren't worth my time and, and aren't at this point, but they need to get done. And so I can give those off to other individuals that maybe are a lot better at those tasks and can get them done and do it flamboyantly and do it well. So delegation is key. Give your tasks to other people, okay? Let them take care of it. Let them do what they do best so I can concentrate or you can concentrate on what it is that you do best, okay? Deal structure. How are you at structuring deals? If you're not if you're not very good, you need to practice. There's a lot of templates out there and different things that you can use to input numbers, and a lot of them are free. Just put deal structure templates on Google, type it in and send it out um, and see what kind, of, what kind of resources you get back. Um, if you have any questions or if you like a template, comment below, let me know, okay? Uh, we'll get you one, okay? But deal structure, if, if you can be a part of a team that can put good deals together and structure those or, or be a part of someone or you yourself can learn to do that, that's a huge value right there, okay? Deal structure is, is big, okay? And then number 10, just to kind of uh, end here, is, is you have brokers, accountants, lawyers, it's just kind of other. If, if you are working with other individuals, possible business owners that want to sell or have a strategic partnership, if they're working with these people, just be aware that these are potential obstacles or roadblocks for you, okay? Um, as you know, if you, if you followed me, I do not use brokers. I don't go through brokers. I don't even play with, uh, you know, looking at offers at all and i don't go to broker websites to taunt myself on businesses that might look great but you have to get through the broker i don't do that because i know how the majority of them at and so to save myself from that heartbreak i just leave it alone and i don't go to the sites i don't look for deals there i look for all deals offline i'm um, same thing with accountants and lawyers a lawyer's job 
they're doing their job um, if they're telling the owner to not take any risk because by taking zero risk there's not going to be any potential black backlash okay so whether that's to the detriment or or actually helping out the business owner that's for them to decide but I've seen a lot of lawyers get get in the way uh, of these deals just because they advise well there there could be some risk there well of course there could be some risk there's risk in everything there's risk in me stepping out of my bed in the morning that I'm gonna step my toe okay um, now and the business owner usually didn't get his business to the point where it is now without taking those risks however they get to a point where they have those lawyers um, that, that definitely can get in the way but if you if you have any questions here moving forward regarding time capital lenders deal flow the deal team mindset, delegation, acquisition, deal structure, or just the brokers and the lawyers and what that means, feel free to just reach out, ask any questions. We're here to help out in any way possible. But until then, you know, realize that there are problems that are faced by many deal makers out there. But if, if you can just in, understand that a lot of us have already gone through those issues and, and we still do at times, we've overcome those. And so instead of trying to go through and overcome yourself, ask the question. Come out, ask the question. We can let you know what's worked for us and maybe shorten that learning curve for yourself. But, um, you know, until then, good luck with everything. Happy hunting and uh, we'll be in touch here soon. Happy deal hunting.